Trans-Pacific Partnership, aka the TPP, uh, was recently broken open by the secrecy that's been behind this treaty for years. It was just broke open by WikiLeaks a couple days ago where they released the chapter related to investments and corporations that are behind this treaty. Now, people may think the idea of free trade and agreements such as this are good for the American economy and also for other economies around the world. But in reality, it's, it's a, a corporate consolidation of power that dis disavows natural sover uh, national sovereignty and consolidates more power or corporate power overseas, also known as a corporatocracy, where corporations are above the laws themselves and create boards that not only get not even a slap on the wrist, but also just a complete uh, above the law uh, mentality. Now... We're going to break down in this video why, just a few examples, why the TPP should be stopped immediately. Not just because of the secrecy, but also because of the players behind the TPP, also known as a Trans-Pacific Partnership. Now, there was an interesting case related with Chevron, the corporation, uh, gas company and oil company in Ecuador, where they released thousands of gallons of oil in crude oil into the rainforest and the people of Ecuador came together some people indigenous indigenous tribes who were affected severely by this Ecuador uh, inside Ecuador the uh, Chevron was in for decades was inside for decades and what happened was Chevron actually ended up winning because of the idea of saying that it wasn't our fault. We allowed to uh, uh, override the laws of uh, the people of Ecuador, which they actually tried in court and they actually managed to uh, unfortunately not succeed. Chevron ended up succeeding and winning that case. And, the, and a good article goes over the uh, both sides of the case and also the aspects of why Chevron ended up winning in that case. But what the particular chapter that's really uh, chilling in this is called the International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes, um, ICSID, that was in the leaked document by WikiLeaks a couple of days ago, which was part of this investment chapter, which again was completely secret that nobody would know about otherwise uh, if these types of documents were even leaked in the first place by WikiLeaks that nobody else would even know about this uh, particular bill that's been going, particular treaty, um, where of course the Congress or the Senate go approves the treaties, but of course Obama is trying to fast track that, uh, fast track this Trans-Pacific Partnership through the Senate so that they don't even have a chance to simply even look at it, let alone debate the details and the implications of, the, of this new treaty. But one of the examples where 100 legal scholars came out against this treaty, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which gave an interesting statement about the consolidation of corporate power that we all should be warning, that we all should be warning people about and the dangers really pertaining to this treaty. Uh, quoting here, the ISCDS uh, uh, threatens domestic sovereignty by empowering foreign corporations to bypass domestic court systems and privately enforce terms of a trade agreement. It weakens the rule of law by removing the procedural protections of the justice system and using an unaccountable, unrenewable uh, system of uh, adjudication, adjudication. Basically, the rules of corporations over the creating their own set of laws to bypass the public justice system, the system that would usually punish uh, not only corporations but also people in general of crimes that they may have committed or may have not committed uh, in this case. But it goes over where there's more bipartisan support for this uh, on both sides because both sides Certain people on both sides of the spectrum recognize the dangers of this, where nothing comes, nothing comes good out of nothing comes out of good when a bill or a treaty like this is in complete secrecy. Nobody knows about what the implications are, and not only not only the contents of it, but also the effects it could have down the road for future generations. Uh, that is being uh, severely missed in this particular case. Uh, not only in previous past years with the Bush administration trying to pass this, but also Obama, which he is ramping up the fast tracking of this uh, through the Senate so that there is no debate whatsoever. 
So on one side, you have the corporate consolidation of power, which corporations are above the law completely, and they do not have any um, consequences of, to their actions overseas. And then also the other side of it, which is the free trade elements of it, where the free trade part of it is not really free trade. It's anything but free trade, where jobs continually to be moved overseas for cheaper labor, where the corporate corporations, particularly Walmart and several others, get more, say, kickbacks for the job that they do overseas, where they hire more workers at a cheaper rate compared to the United States, which is not really a, because it's a cheaper incentive to keep them overseas and not have them in the United States making more and having work safety, etc., where corporations would rather have the benefits tied to themselves overseas where they could have the most benefits and also the bypassing of laws um, that w that the TPP would stick a fork in essentially uh, this law. So definitely encourage people to check out this information about this. And that's another reason why it should be stopped immediately. Not only stopped, but essentially um, put out in the open because as the old saying goes, sunlight is the best disinfectant. And when bills are cast and when treaties not only bills but treaties are cast in the dark nothing comes nothing comes from nothing good comes from this at all uh only when bills are, and treaties are brought in the public where people could debate about it and debate about the implications of it not only for american citizens but also people around the world as well through these different uh avenues um, so i definitely encourage people to check out and learn more about this with that wikileaks document the TPP document, and really show it really shows where the secrecy involved, where WikiLeaks ended up just leaking a couple days ago this bill that nobody the the part of this treaty that we didn't even people didn't even know about whatsoever. So it's very dangerous. It's a very dangerous precedent to see that this part is secret. Who knows what else could be secret in this particular uh, agreement that you could call an agreement between um, corporate powers and more aligning themselves uh, above the law and also above any regulations or restrictions whatsoever that doesn't really benefit anyone but them. It doesn't benefit anyone else. It benefits the only the top upper class corporations, corporate powers, etc. So you can learn more about this. All the links will be in the description below for these types of information. Check out our videos related to um, all the other topics that we've covered, uh, that we cover in these in this particular channel, and also much more uh, coming soon. So stay tuned for all of that, and definitely learn more about this because, in the age of information, ignorance is a choice. Again, thank you everybody for watching, and stay tuned for more videos like this and much more coming soon.